my name is I'm currently 30 years old. I'm Australian and I do not practice any religion anymore. As soon as it happened, the, the first thought that came into my head was, oh my God, am I in a cult? Would the Messiah really do something like this? That was my first thought. Like, it was just, oh my God, like, this is not how blah, blah, blah. Like it just was, it, that side went sharp. And the other side was interesting because it was like, oh my God, like, I really like am like a chosen bride, like I'm a real like wife. The fact that my bridegroom, my husband would touch like me like that, like it's it's a my blessing, like I'm really chosen. And it was just this war over the connect over the coming weeks. And the first thing I did in the morning was contact one of the main pastors who takes care of foreigners. And I was like, this thing happened last night with something new. Is there any chance that we could meet and I could get like some clarification? She was just like, I think she knew what was going on. And she just said, I'm sorry, I'm busy. Can you talk to so-and-so, this other pastor? Um, so she didn't want to deal with it. And so, yeah, I talked to that other pastor. And then, of course, she spilled all this stuff into my brain. Like, you know, you really are the bride. And, the you know, in a normal relationship, can't the husband have that kind of relationship with his wife? And just all this stuff. And I was kind of eating it away. Because, I mean, mind you, like, we, we, especially as face stars, are already groomed from a very, from a very early stage of our indoctrination process of our providence life that we are like god's real chosen brides more so than regular members more so than blessed family we are more loved we receive that education anyone who yeah. tells anything differently is is lying we are told we are more loved we have all these secret face star meetings we get money we get blessings we get all of these things don't like no one can deny that <laughs> anyone who says differently is a liar me too. Uh, I, that's why I'm doing this. This is my, my justice. This is my revenge. This is my everything. Like, I can't let it go. I was going to, but I, I can't. Like, I actually can't. They need to pay the consequences. They're yes. not some righteous re religion. They're, not, they're, they're an organization, organization that supports an actual criminal, a rapist. And that yes. is not okay. That can't go on. And unfortunately, even if he goes to prison again, like I'm so afraid that it will continue on. But at the same time, if we put this message out there, I hope that people can see that we are not some sort of liars, that we're not, yeah. I want to swear, like uh, that we're not liars. Why would we lie about this? Why would we put our face out there like this? There are so many other victims, first of all, so many. However, <laughs> uh, it is uh a cult <laughs> like uh we know this because we've experienced these things we know that at the top levels there are seriously sinister um deceitful things going on and the fact that these lower members don't know about it the fact that they're told this completely different scenario and story about you know what really happens mm -hmm. and that people like us who are actually victims and who are actually telling the truth that we're actually liars <laughs> it just shows how like um it shows how wrong it is like it's just it is it is criminal so it's so sad that there are people in there that yeah really like are ignorant ignorantly living in bliss when really they're giving this rapist this criminal power they're really giving him power on mm. without knowing the truth at all